China recently completed construction of the world's strongest wind tunnel, located in the mountainous Wairu district north of Beijing. The wind tunnel, called JF-22, is 4 meters in diameter and can generate extremely high airflow velocities of up to 10 kilometers per second. This makes it capable of simulating hypersonic flight conditions up to Mach 30, which is 30 times the speed of sound. The JF-22 wind tunnel has been evaluated by a team of 16 independent experts, who praised its performance and called it, world-leading. The JF-22 wind tunnel will play an important role in advancing China's hypersonic ambitions. The tunnel will support research and development efforts for China's space transportation systems and hypersonic aircraft, as well as for military purposes. The Chinese government has set the ambitious goal of deploying a fleet of hypersonic aircraft by 2035, capable of carrying passengers into space and reaching any point on Earth within an hour. Why are hypersonic tunnels important to China? Hypersonic flight poses significant challenges, including extreme heat and pressure, a stable flight trajectory and passenger safety. At hypersonic speeds, the air molecules surrounding the aircraft become extremely dense and hot, causing molecular dissociation, in which the molecules break apart and react with one another. Wind tunnels, such as the JF-22, provide a controlled laboratory environment for studying the phenomena of hypersonic flight. Researchers can study how hypersonic vehicles interact with their environment and develop new technologies to improve performance and safety. Additionally, Wind tunnel testing helps identify potential problems or design flaws before building and flying the actual vehicle, reducing the risk of failure or accident and thereby saving resources. How strong is the wind generated in a hypersonic tunnel? The JF-22 wind tunnel stands out for its innovative approach. Instead of using the traditional expansion method to generate airflow, the lead scientist, Professor Zhang Zonglin, proposed a new shockwave generator called Direct Reflected Shockwave Driver. The system uses a series of timed explosions to create shockwaves that coalesce and produce high-speed airflow in a wind tunnel. Although this method has drawbacks such as noise, air pollution and safety concerns, it allows for the fast and intense bursts of energy required for hypersonic testing. Together with the JF-12 wind tunnel, which simulates flight conditions up to Mach 9, this facility provides a comprehensive experimental platform for testing short-range vehicles. By combining data from both wind tunnels, researchers can gain a better understanding of materials and designs in a variety of flight conditions, ultimately increasing the performance and reliability of hypersonic weapons and aircraft.